So tell me, how do you feel? Uh, I feel good. Uh, it's still preseason, so I'm still getting to know everybody, um, their style of play, their personalities, the coaches, coaches style. I mean, coaching style and their personalities as well. So I'm still getting adjusted to my house and moving in. So I'm still filling everything out, but I'm pretty much comfortable. I mean, you've been here, but it, it 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 still seems like everything's new, yeah. I mean, you've been yeah, in Belgrade. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I live at Waterfront. I lived there four years ago as well. And every time I go to Waterfront, I just laugh. I'm like, this looks so so different than <laughs> yeah. four years ago. But it's good. I guess that means the city's growing and the area's getting a little bit better. And more people are coming. And it's easier for me to live here and easier for my family to come to visit that they can move around and everything. What about the team? You guys seem talented, deep. How do you how do you see it? Uh, I think we'd be as good as we practice. I think we'd be as good as the effort that we give every single day. Um, with the, that's the effort now, the effort we give in December, the effort we give in March. Uh, we will determine how far we can go as a team. Um, but the focus has to be every day, every practice, every game. When you sign in, you left some messages on your Twitter account or Instagram about you have waiting for this chance a long ago. Can you explain what that means to you? You know, because some of the fans maybe find some relation with your first time here in Belgrade. Uh, I'm a person where if I failed in one area of my life, I will continuously go back to that area and try to fix it. That's how I am with friendships. That's how I am with certain things, work that I do outside of basketball, and that's how I am with my career. So if there's an opportunity to fix something that doesn't feel emotionally right for me, that doesn't feel mentally right for me, instead of finding a new situation, a fresh situation to go to and be at peace, I usually tend to pick the harder route and go somewhere to fix what I need to do for myself. What is your goal for this season in Red Star? First? to show up every day and practice hard, to show up every game and get what I can. Um, that's my goal. Thank you. No, I feel like people rated me what they thought, um, their opinions. Um, that's the job. Do you listen to other people's opinions? I mean, outside of the team? Uh, I think if I listened, I, was, I wouldn't be playing basketball right now. <laughs> I've never been a big time player, name-wise, growing up. Um, I've never been a big time player overseas in Europe, and I still don't view myself as that. Um, so, no, their opinion is their opinion. Everybody has one. It's the job of the people that don't play the sport that I play to give their opinion. That's what helps fans. That's what also gives people jobs. So, no, I don't listen to them. But last season, you accomplished some things that were historical. Do you? How do you look uh, look back on the last season? And mainly those triple doubles and things that generated so much buzz. Uh, I'm just happy that people finally see what I've been doing for since the first year I got to Europe. Uh, I said it before, if you look at last season, the difference is we won more games. And I've always known that, you know, winning makes a difference. And last year proved that. Um, I've had triple doubles before in Europe. I've had 19 assists, 18 assists, 17 assists before in Europe. But I was happy to have the opportunity, and I'm thankful to Basconia. I'm thankful for the organization who gave me the opportunity to show that what you know I've been trying my hardest to do since I came here. How do you look upon that period in Partizan? It was short, but how how do you life? Uh, life. Uh, it's a situation that happened, and you just have to look past it and keep doing what you believe in, and keep having a belief in yourself. That's what I did, and that's what helped me get back, get back to Belgrade. Yeah. Coach Filipovski, your coach in Partizan, yeah. said that the situation was so bad all around the team, the the, the, the COVID stuff. It's, he said like it was almost impossible for anybody to, to to succeed, to have, to do what was, what were the goals? Yeah. Uh, I'm happy to be here now. Yeah. Uh, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm happy for everything that has happened in the past with basketball, without not in basketball, in regular life, uh, whatever's happened in the past has happened and all we can do is move forward and do things differently.
can you tell us about uh, Mirko? No, I don't he, think so. He's a great guy. Um, great guy and a great player as well. And I'm super excited to learn from him. Um, and I already told him maybe one day he will have to tell me to show up. I will ask a lot of questions. I will try to get him to teach me things. You know, it's, I'm in a, a lucky position where I get to learn from a player like him. So I definitely want to take advantage of him.